Hi everybody, Steven Ewens here with the Afghanistan Project and I want to show you guys a couple of my airbrushes and how to clean them. This one here is an Iwata High Performance HPC Plus. Um, great airbrush, gravity fed, it's real quick, does a lot of great work. Um, to, to clean this, first of all you take off this rear housing, which a lot of guys don't even run with, um, on. I personally, I use it sometimes, I sometimes don't. It's nice for the fact that it has a locking nut. It helps control the amount of paint you're able to push out of your airbrush. I'll, I'll show you how that works right now. Um, as a lot of you know, dual action airbrushes, down for air, back for paint. With a locking nut back here, you can control how much paint you can put out. It restricts it. Um, a lot of the times, I just run it with it either all the way open or this whole thing off. But when you're doing really high detail work, it's nice to be able to have that option. Now, this airbrush is, it's a detail airbrush, but it's not nearly as detailed as like the Micron or anything. So I use it a lot of time for shading and uh, large area work. Now, to break this down, you have your acorn nut on the rear. You go ahead and loosen that, and you can pull your needle all the way out the back. This is your needle. This is a .3 millimeter needle. It's a great gun with this needle. You, know, like you, you are able to do detail. It's really nice. They are very fragile though, you gotta be very careful with them. And then you can go ahead and you can remove your whole uh, rear tensioning um, assembly. Your acorn nut will come off and you just keep unscrewing this and out comes your spring guide, your needle guide, and your spring. Then your trigger will come right out of the top. And up front, you have your tip and your needle housing cap. And then you have your fluid needle housing right here. It's very small, as you can tell. And Iwata sends these little tiny wrenches to help take them off. They're a little tricky because they're so small to see. It's like working with eyeglasses almost. But once you line it up, it comes right off. There we go. They are very, very small pieces, so be careful. Don't lose them. You know, I don't even know if you can see how small this is, but there it is. That's the tip. That's where your needle will actually come out and poke out of the airbrush. And then here's your cup. You can take your cup's lid off. This is a one third of an ounce cup, which holds plenty of paint to do quite a bit of work. Now to clean this, um, I use since I use uh, Createx water-based paints, I usually don't need to break down and use Createx Restore unless it's like once a month. So a lot of times I will just use airbrush cleaner and water. Now to do this, got some paper towels out here. Um, really, you get your stuff wet. Um, use a cleaner if you need it. Um, the Restore is great for uh, the big jobs. You can soak your items and everything. But go ahead and just wipe out all the big stuff first. And then drop your pieces in to soak. And right here, this is just um, bottled water. You can use uh, tap water if you like. Just make sure you, you have good water. You don't want to be putting in really hard or really soft water because the minerals. Um, you can go ahead and soak everything. Just take it all apart. The only thing that I recommend being careful with is your needle. And of course this little tiny tip, which I just dropped and picked up. <laughs> this thing is so small, you have to be extremely careful with it not to lose it. And then you have the cap and the housing. Now the needle, I'm not just going to go ahead and drop it in there, but I will clean it by hand. And when you clean your needles, you have to be very sure, here's the tip and here's the base. Go from the base to the tip when you clean them. These bend extremely easily. And just take a, a piece of paper towel, tissue paper, toilet paper, um, shop towels, um, whatever works, and just 
run them up the tip, up the, the needle, and take off as much paint as you can. I uh, only soak these when I have to, just because I don't want to bang them around inside my, uh, my pans, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, once your needle's clean, you can go ahead and set that aside. All these pieces, here you just shake them up a little. You get that water and cleaner um, running through them real well. 